this is just a quick guide on how to use Zoom to have meetings with breakout rooms. So uh, with Zoom, you get 45 minutes on a free account and, and all of the, I believe all the features I'm going to show you are on the free account, or you can get a uh, paid account and you can do this for as long as you like. Um, so with the free account, you can use the same link off for times. So if you do want to just um, have a meeting for 45 minutes and then you'll be, you'll be given warnings um, when that's going to uh, finish and then you can tell people to um, immediately go click on the same link again. Um, so that will work just fine. Um, but the paid account will obviously be better to have longer meetings. So um, to change your settings, which might be quite useful, um, there's the uh, settings thing, but if you go and click on View Advanced Features, it opens up on the uh, on your browser. So some settings you might want to look at is uh, Join Before Host. Uh, that's quite useful if you're uh, setting a meeting and you want other people to have the meeting without you. Um, but be aware, um, each host can only host one meeting at, at a time. So um, unfortunately, that means you can't use the same paid account for like millions of uh, uh, events. Uh, so you're only going to have one. If you try to get scheduled two events at the same time, um, then um, you will have to, that won't work. People won't be able to join the second meeting. So another useful thing is, if you want to, you can mute participants on entry. Um, you can make that change when you're actually making it a particular event as well. So that's quite a good thing to add for a particular event if you were expecting a large number of people. Um, uh, polling, if you want to do polls, they're quite fun. Um, there's uh, screen sharing capabilities. Most of these, the regular setting is fine. Uh, breakout groups um, uh, is good to have on if you're going to have a group, um, a large meeting that you want small, small discussions to come out of that. Another thing that could be quite good for you to have is to choose the join from your browser link. So um, that means that people don't have to install Zoom, they can just click so when you're ready to organize your meeting, you can do a meeting. Um, the time doesn't seem to matter that much, um, apart from the fact that it will be scheduled in here and uh, you can join the meeting before or after that time. Uh, right, uh, good to not require a meeting password unless um, you want to be very careful about who joins. Um, you can also change the join before host and new participants on entry here. Um, great. Um, I don't need to do the, the calendar thing. Okay, so now I have my test meeting. In fact, I can see all my meetings that I've got scheduled um, here. Uh, and the, you can show your meeting invitation. For most people, you might as well just send them the link. Um, this is all sort of dial in extra stuff. And when you start your meeting, join with computer audio, then you can see what your options are. So before, if you want to do breakout rooms with your meeting, it might make sense to organize your breakout rooms straight away before other people get on. So I could say I want three breakout rooms, or you can do this when people arrive. Uh, and you can rename them, whatever you like. Unfortunately, you can't assign people to a breakout room before they arrive, as far as I can tell. Um, there's a couple of options here. You can just do, uh, oops, actually, go back, breakout rooms, you've got, uh, 
two choices as, as random breakout rooms or um, or choosing your own breakout rooms. Oh yes, there's automatically or manually. So if you choose automatic, automatically, then it gets random assignment. Manually, you get to choose them. Um, obviously, automatic is quite easy for large groups. If you do manually, then you'll have to like drag people on. So I'm just going to randomly make a couple more groups um, and I can change my options. So if you want to, I could have sort of five minute discussion or whatever you like and then you can make a little timer. Um, so if you close the breakout room then people will have that amount of time before they get kicked off. Okay, so now um, I'm going to add some polls. Um, for some reason, I can't work out how to record the other screen, so I apologize that I'm not looking at you. Um, you can use uh, polls to make your uh, interactive stuff. So, um, for example, um, we're trying to organize a giving game, and so a couple of polls that we could have would be like what charity would you pick um, and you can make a bunch of questions for each poll so um, choose charity um, so you can make them anonymous or not um, this is quite nice um, what charity and then you can write your options AMF give directly whatever you like Um, and so uh, we can add multiple questions. So teachers use this sort of thing uh, to test the understanding of their group uh, and maybe you could use them in, in some other way. Um, uh, there could be other cool things you could do with this, um, like ask people their opinions of different things. Um, I'm thinking it could work quite well for speed updating where people um, get asked a question then they uh, then you've, you've got the answer to the question if they're not anonymous then you can match people up who have different opinions to chat um, that could be a little bit messy to assign the groups but um, but it's a possibility so you can have multiple polls set up for the same uh, the same group uh, meeting So if you go down, you can add another poll. Um, so for example, given games, they often do like a naive poll for the uh, charity and then final poll for the charity. Um, okay. Right, so um, now that we've got that set up, oops, where are we? I might start the meeting. <laughs> oh, look, we have got somebody at our virtual meetup. Isn't this wonderful? Hello, Ivan. Um, <laughs> so now that I've got a participant in our meetup, I can show you how some of these features work. So, for example, with breakout rooms, I can now assign Ivan to a breakout room. So I'm going to open those rooms. So, cool, okay, you should join if that's okay. Okay, so I can't see Ivan anymore because he's in a breakout room and I'm not. I can join his breakout room though. Takes a little time to do that. Oh look, I'm in your breakout room. Isn't this great? So, oh well we're not going to stay for that long. In fact I'm just going to close the rooms now and because I set it to something like 30 seconds I think then um, he'll get an instruction hopefully to close the room. Oh no, 120 seconds. 
um, you can just close that now if you want Ivan and I can return to my main session great awesome so now I'm just going to try one of the polls that we did so I can um, choose which of my questions I want and I'm going to launch the polling so what do you see Ivan okay so you just choose the choose your whatever you want whichever cherry you feel like today Cool, oh, now I can see one out of one's voted, so I should end my polling, and then I can share the results and go, oh no, everybody chose Python, which we've done a terrible job at our giving game. Okay. <laughs> yep. Um, cool. So the other thing that you'll probably want to do is show your uh, slides or something like that. So um, if I find hopefully find my slides um, and I present then hopefully I can go to my zoom huh, and share my screen and then you can see my slides if cool can you see my slide loading Cool. So basically, if you are, you can show slides, um, you can do the polls, and then you can do the breakout rooms. So depending on what you want to do, you might have, for example, in a group, you could have people chatting about, like somebody doing a presentation. You can do. Um, I'll actually just stop my screen share. You do a presentation. You could post questions through the poll. You can send people to breakout rooms there is actually kind of little activities that you can do to manage the participants as well or the manage the participants um, for example I can just say oh Ivan's talking too much and mute him that would be mean <laughs> um, uh, another thing that you could do is or well, Ivan can um, you should be able to see participants down the bottom there Ivan and you should be able to raise your hand potentially oh yeah so he's moused over himself he's raised his hand and that way I can say oh Ivan you've got a question um, and then I should probably unmute him as well um, or maybe he's muted himself so I can't unmute him um, and then after he's answered his question you can you can lower his hands cool you still there Ivan Oh dear, we may have a technical glitch. Um, anyway, that's the general idea of uh, the Zoom. He's frozen, but the other final thing was that you can chat. So you can chat to everybody, um, or you can chat just to individual people. Um, you can also do that in the breakout rooms. So if I open the rooms, then I can still broadcast the message to all. For example, you can say like, there's one minute to go, or oops, I forgot to ask you the question, or whatever it is that you want. Um, you can do multiple going into breakout rooms and you can change the people. Um, so I can, uh, for the second round, you could like put people in a different breakout room, for example. Great.